What would be most yeah. useful for you in our conversation today? Um, a lot. So definitely choosing um, which personal statement to go with, because I feel like I have a lot of life changing moments that kind of pushed me to becoming a lawyer. And it's just like, which one, which one is like the most significant, like that. And who do I allow edit um, my personal statement? Cause obviously I would want someone that's like an expert at like English grammar. Like who do I send it to instead of just sending it to family and friends. Um, and lastly, do I send all like the same personal statement to like all law schools? Sure. All right. So tell yeah. me first off, which of the options you're considering? What are the two potentials you have before you? Um, for of the personal statements? Yeah. So for one, one of them is how I basically came to know about equality and freedom within my household. So being born of Nigerian parents, um, I was always taught to believe like as a girl, you should, as a girl, you should. So how that kind of like um, shaped me to becoming the woman I am today um, that it goes beyond gender and things like that. And another one is my study abroad experience um, back in my home country, back in Nigeria, how it really taught me um, basically the difference, you know, difference between cultures here and the culture over there. So those are the main two that I'm kind of going with. Um, the other ones are just like sickness related. How did I get out of it? and things like that, yeah. Okay, now, have you considered writing a diversity statement? No, what's that? <laughs> so, in law school admissions, you have your main personal statement, of course. You have mm -hmm. optional essays and addenda, like why our law school in particular, or if you want to explain a low GPA or a low LSAT score, there's a separate place to do that. But mm -hmm. everyone also has the option to write a diversity statement talking about the diversity they would bring to the campus based upon their background or some other characteristic. Mm. And so out of the options you're considering for your personal statement, I wonder if maybe you could do both of them. Just choose one to, to be your personal statement and designate the other one as your diversity statement. Oh, that's a good idea. So do all law school applications um, give you that option? As far as I'm aware, virtually every law school offers something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I could definitely do that then. Um, and, oh yeah, so currently I'm just in my like free write process. So it's definitely long. Like a lot of them are like three to four pages, sometimes five. And to me, I feel like every detail is important. So I don't know what, how do I like navigate as to what to cut, cut out? That's kind of like the editing, like making it shorter. How do I go about that? Sure. So a lot of it does come down to your personal judgment about this. And one general guideline I can give you is if it's not about you, that's a prime candidate for cutting out. A lot of times personal statements end up being about other people or being objective descriptions of situations when it should really be a way for us to get a window into who you are. And so if you, let's say the statement going back to Nigeria and talking about what the culture is like there. I haven't read this, but I could imagine that some people writing a statement like that might get too wrapped up in the details of the experience yeah. there and other people, as opposed to always tying it back to yourself and what you take away from the experience. Okay. Um, that's, that's a good idea because I definitely did find myself writing about um, the people I met and what um, I kind the kind of uh, hardships that I faced. Um, so I definitely should cut that out. Um, there was another question I had. Hold on, I have like a little note. Oh, do you offer editing and review um, like resources help for? Is it for a price or? Yes, I do. It is for okay. a price, of course. And <laughs> I can send you a link after this conversation with details on the different options of how we could potentially work together. And this comes back to the question you were saying about who do I get to look at it? Yeah. You can certainly ask friends and family, but first off, they'll probably just tell you it's great. And they're also yeah. <laughs> not looking at it at, with a critical eye. And it may well be great, but we want to make it as good as possible, as close to perfection as possible. And that requires 
a little bit of distance and a little bit of objectivity and also knowing what admission officers are looking for, not just how to make it a better piece of writing in general in terms of copy editing or inserting commas and things like that. I'm thinking bigger picture here. Okay. And typically, how long do you think it should take or does it take for someone to even get um, to that point of a perfect personal statement? Yeah, writing's never perfect. It's never yeah. going to be <laughs> reaching some ideal. We just look to make it as good as possible. And part of that is making it concise, but jam-packed, full of what really matters. And so you're saying three, four, five pages, how do I cut it down? That's something that requires making some tough decisions. But what I like to do is make it long like you did, then cut it down, then make it long again, then cut it down again. So we go through several revisions, several rounds, so that the ultimate two pages you end up with made it through the cutting board, cutting block when a lot of things didn't make it. So every word counts in that final draft. That's what we're looking to achieve. Got it. So I have not yet applied to any law schools. Um, do, when you upload your personal, is the personal statement uploaded on the LSAC website? Yeah. And if so, do like all law schools that you're applying to kind of see that you're um, applying with the same personal statement? The, they don't see what each other are getting. But oh, okay. you do want to, at some point, indicate somewhere on your application why their law school in particular. And so to your question about, should I say include different versions for different law schools? If you are saying, I want to go to, just to make up one like Harvard, I want to go to Harvard because X, Y, Z, of course, you don't want to mistakenly mention that in another yeah. school's application. It's a really common mistake. They see it all the time. And of course, it never looks very good. Now, yeah. if you had a top LSAT and GPA, maybe they would look past it. But overall, it could be a deal breaker because it's one of those like attention to detail sorts of things. And so yeah. I would be really careful about that and note specifically where you're saying insert X school here so that you are changing it, of course, every single time. So those schools that do not really give you um, a guideline to your personal statement, um, which one would you think it's recommended uh, a personal statement about yourself or like why I want to be a lawyer or why I want to go to school? Is it just really up to your, um, you know, opinion? If I had to choose one of the things you said, I would say about yourself. Okay. But in the process of talking about yourself, because this is personal, it shouldn't be about them and it shouldn't only be future oriented about what you want to do going forward. It should talk about what you've done up to this point. What has your life's journey been like to bring you to the point where in this moment in time, you want to go to law school, that this is a natural next step in your career and in your life in general. Definitely. Um, I think that was all my questions. Oh, another question. Um, how many personal statements do you think one should write like, about different stages of their life, how many do you think? Well, you only need one for law school. If you're talking about writing a few different drafts of different topics and then picking your favorite one, I think three would be sufficient. But ultimately, mm -hmm. like for your situation, we've got two potential topics, and I suggest you make one of them the personal statement, another the diversity statement, and then if your situation requires writing some sort of addendum on some matter, you could talk about that too and make that a separate statement. But typically a law school application will involve anywhere from two to four different pieces of writing. And that will vary based on your individual circumstance. Okay. All right. That was all my questions. This really helped. I also want to say that I'm a big fan of your podcast and your YouTube channel. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you, you so much, me. Steve. Of course, I really appreciate it. Before we sign off, what would you say is the biggest insight you got from our call today? Um, definitely the diversity statement. I saw um, what, like I saw it on some applications, but I definitely did not read into it. So you definitely made it easier for me to also write about my experience in Nigeria and also a personal statement that had nothing to do with Nigeria and kind of submit that to, in both of them. So that helped me out. And the other one was definitely the writing tips because I was kind of hesitant. Should I pay someone to help me edit it? Should I send to like teachers that probably won't even like, you know, 
do like the best editing just kind of read scan through it or to just go with the flow so you encourage me to invest in myself most definitely Awesome. Well, I'm glad I was able to help and please keep in touch. I'll send over that link with details on potentially working together. Okay. Thank you so much.